Welcome back to my channel, July 9, 2024. I want to speak to you about the extreme importance of eating a very high protein diet for longevity and health span. You are going to be shocked. Welcome back to my channel. But before I do start talking about this, let me do the notorious one minute, one rep pull up to get my blood going, baby. Let's do this. It was a one minute rep. Hi. There was a one minute rep pull up. Not bad, huh? Anyway, I want to speak to you today about something very important that I guarantee you no one ever heard of. Get ready to be shocked. People always ask me, well, how do you maintain mobility as you age? How do you do it? One of the reasons is because of my very high protein diet. What am I talking about? Have you ever heard of IGF-1? Okay, high protein diets increase IGF-1. Longevity experts tell you to lower IGF-1 because it will cut your life short. I disagree, it's the other way around. Let me explain. I'm going with my memory here but when I get home, I'm going to post the studies with this video. And in the description, I'll post the links also so you can check them out yourself. When you eat a high-protein diet, for muscle protein, protein synthesis, you need about between 20 to 40 grams, maybe even 50 grams, depending on your age and your anabolic resistance. In other words, the older you are, the more anabolic resistant you are, the more protein you need for muscle pre protein synthesis after you work out. So you have to determine how, many, how much protein you need. But younger guys only need 20 grams, 25 grams. Older guys can eat double that. But anyway, let me get let me get to this. IGF-1. When you increase IGF-1, number one, IG, when you increase IGF-1, it stops sarcopenia. It slows it down big time. It slows down the loss of muscle mass, even if you don't work out. Number two, are you ready for this? When you increase IGF-1, it slows down the loss of fast muscle twitch fibers, type 2A and type 2B. Type 2B is the old name for type 2X. So in other words, you're slowing down the loss of the super fast muscle fibers, type 2X, and the type 2A muscle fibers. These are lost during aging. What happens when you lose type 2X muscle fibers or type 2A muscle fibers? You lose motor units. The fast motor units that are connected to the muscle fibers, you lose those. One way to slow them down is to eat a very high protein diet. In other words, whatever you use for muscle protein synthesis, people say, oh, your body can only absorb 30 grams per meal. That's not true. You can absorb 100 grams, 200 grams. Okay, the thing is this. Your body uses about between 20 and 40 or 20 and 50, depending on your age, how much to use of that protein for muscle pr protein synthesis. What does it do with the other protein? You don't pee it out. Maybe some you do, but the other is used for other processes in your body. The one I'm talking about today is IGF-1. The extra protein goes to increase in IGF-1. You increase the IGF-1, you stop the sarcopenia, 
or you don't stop it, but you slow it drastically and you slow the loss of fast motor units. Forget about if you work out. If you, if you work out, it's even stronger. This is one of the reasons why I, I eat a high protein diet. This is one of the reasons. People always make these comments, oh, you only need this much. No, 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 no. You only need that much for muscle protein synthesis. Protein is used for your entire body, for so many processes. Anyway, people don't know about this. I don't listen to these experts, these longevity experts. I do the opposite of what they say. Okay, IGF-1, there's no proof. You got centenarians with high IGF-1, and you got centenarians with low IGF-1. There's no proof that low and IGF-1 will, in will increase your lifespan. That's not, that's not what increases or decrease your lifespan. There's other, there's other things that increase or decrease your lifespan. Slowing the loss of motor units increases your lifespan because when you lose those motor units, it destroys your entire body, not just your muscles, metabolic problems, bone problems, gastrointestinal problems. It creates so many problems when you lose fast twitch muscle fibers. This is why we slow down as we age. When you slow down, you become less mobile. And when you become less mobile, you get cardiovascular issues. You get, look, it's like a chain reaction. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. These are my little secrets. I've been keeping to myself because I plan to write a book. But I'm sharing some of them here. High, not high, very high protein diet. That's why I take 50 grams per meal. That's why I'm keeping my mobility because I'm slowing down the loss of fast motor units and fast switch fibers. Anyway, have a great day and see you soon in my next video.